Hey guys in this video I will show you what race you should choose in order to match it with your playstyle. I will show you all pros and cons so you can choose the best one for your needs. Today's shoutouts go to these guys. If you want a shoutout in the next video just leave a like and tell me in the comments your favorite race. So the first question is, why do we even need races? Well every race provides certain buffs which help you in some way. Some give you agility, some defense, attack boosts and etc. And since there are 6 races which all give relatively different buffs, it can be a bit confusing and difficult to choose what race suit you the best. So now I am going to show you all races and their buffs and what playstyle the suit the best. So if a race suits your playstyle you know that you should use its. So as I previously said there are 6 races, Human Shark Angel Rabbit Cyborg and Ghoul. So let's go one by one. Human is one of the races that players can have first time when they join the game. 50% chance. But also you can get it by race rerolling. What's special about it? Well it's stage 2 you get more agility, dodge and regen buffs, longer dashes and a bit better flash step. Which is not that special. But. Stage 3 unlocks your last resort ability which is really good, very high damage. But the stage 4 is where it gets good. Why? You unlock a lot of buffs which increase your overall stats and your abilities and you basically become a killing machine. With this race one shot combos are really really up. So this race is for those players who are bounty hunting but they aren't that good in mid fighting so they rely on one shot combos. So if this is you then this race is perfect for you. You can also get shark when you first join the game but the chances are 12.5%. Now why is it good? Well besides that you look absolutely insane with the fins on your back it grants you the ability to swim in water. Which is not that special but. At stage 3 you unlock water body ability which decreases damage taken from players and NPCs by 80%. Which is really good for enduring combos. And at stage 4 you get overall stat buff by 10% and you unlock more abilities that increase your defense. So what this race should be used for? Well it has decent defense and ability to swim so it's really good for sea beast hunting. And other than that I wouldn't really recommend it. That's because there are more races that give even better buffs which can be used in every aspect of the game. So yeah. Also the angel race can be obtained when first joining the game minus 12.5% chance. Now the buffs. Even the stage gives you something. More air jumps. And stage 2 increases the jump distance but the stage 3 is where the real buffs appear. You unlock an ability which increases defense by 15%. Heals 20% of your health and 10% energy, which is overall perfectly balanced. And stage 4 you unlock an ability which buffs your overall stats by 10% and your attacks are more powerful because you slow down your enemy and distort his screen. So this race is really good for sky camping. And for overall PvP in general because it's really good balanced. It's not so attack based like human and not so defensive so if you are skilled in PvP this race can be really good. And this is the last race that you can get by joining the game first time, 12.5% chance as well. Now this race is really good especially in one aspect. And that is. Agility. Even at stage 1 you get 1.5x running speed. And at stage 2 that increases to 2x and your dashes cost 10 less energy. But at stage 3 you unlock an ability which increases your running speed by 4x, decreases the dashing cooldown and your dashes are slightly longer. And at stage 4 you unlock ability which buffs your overall stats by 10% and your dashes are longer, you leave tornadoes and you can super dash. So yeah, now why would you want to use this really fast agility? Well if you have for example high bounty and you don't want to get killed then you can use this fast agility to quickly escape bounty hunters. And that's about it. Now Cyborg is one of the two races Todd can only be obtained through a quest. If you want to know how to get it check out this video. Why is it good? Well at stage 1 you get nothing. But. At stage 2 you get 10% defense against all attacks except fruit, and 15% of the received damage converts to your energy. And stage 3 you get ability which boosts your defense by 30% and you get attack buffs. Lastly stage 4 overall 10% buff and ability that improves your attack and you get access to super jump. So basically. This race is really good for defense so it's insane against teamers in PvP. Also it's good for cancelling combos and you basically have infinite energy. So this race is perfect for PvP tryharders. And lastly my favorite, Ghoul. If you wanna get it check out this video. So I've been using this race for the majority of my Blox Fruits journey. And let me tell you, it's good. 
You may ask why? Well at stage 1 you get 30% extra running speed during night and stage 2 you get life leech ability. Life leech allows you to heal yourself with dealing damage to other players or NPCs, and that can be really op. And stage 3 you get heightened senses ability which boosts your overall stats by 10 to 15% and you can use skills that are 40% on cooldown. So you can spam skills even faster, and at stage 4 you get 10% overall stat buff and some area around you which slows down enemies but the most important thing is that your life leech gets better. So if you pair this race with Ghoul Mask and Buddha your life leech and health will be insane and you will be almost immortal. Who is this race for? Well I would recommend this race for hardcore grinders, like myself, that seek max level and max stats in the game. That's because with this race no NPC can kill you, except of course if you're aiming for that. So yeah. Guys if you found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and a sub to let me know that I should make more useful videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.